Hello and welcome to Lit Film Fest Classrooms where we help you to write, edit and film your own adventure story in your living room. So if you've missed episode one and two, well, why, what, 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 why, why is that, eh? Where were you? Hmm? Check them out on the links below. There's a little playlist there so you can have a little look-see earlier. Why are you coming in at episode three? Wondering if it's any good? It is. So you should have already designed your group of people who will be appearing in your film. In yesterday's session, in episode two, you should have already written a little bit about your characters. Today we're going to be just delving in a bit more, writing up nice and neat before we film in tomorrow's session, the first part of your movie. Across the next seven weeks, we're going to be reading and studying a swashbuckling pirate adventure book, El Dorado. We'll use the ideas from the book and write and edit our own film script on the, any theme that we want. And finally, we'll be sharing exactly what you do at home right here in our videos. And here is another short video just to give you a few more ideas about how to describe your characters. This is called Cleo. She's a detective from Eye of the Sky Agency. She likes going out with her friend, Dangerous Day. This is Dangerous Day from the same agency. He is cool, but at times he can be a pretty rude detective. He is notoriously bossy, and he is happy to tell people how rich he is. He is obsessed with taking selfies. This is delightful, bossy, eager in the eyes. He is smart and sensible and adores his work. He does make mistakes sometimes and has a bit of a short temper. Okay, so let's look back at chapter one together. Let's look at the characters of Solomon Clegg and Louis Jimenez. What are their characteristics and what are they like to work with? What do they do in their spare time and do they have any special skills? Are there any clues in chapter one that we read together? Let's read through that again now. And I want you to think about how these different skills have been written into the text. How these different characteristics have been written into each sentence. How they speak, what they have in their coats, how they hold themselves, even the thoughts inside their heads that are written about. So here's me, in the past, reading the second part of chapter one. Mm. So we must decide who travels from the north and who travels from the south. Don't even think about offering to go halves on the loot, said Louis, in perfect English with a Spanish accent. This gold will be mine, or mine. Wow, you must have read my mind. Perhaps we could have a quiz then. Winner chooses their preferred route, suggested Solomon. Louis glared at him, as if he was ready to pounce. Solomon puffed out his chest, or throw knives at each other and see who gets the closest. Louis glared at him again, this time so hard that Solomon almost flinched. Uh, well, always worked for me, said Solomon quietly, apart from when I sliced off my first mate's ear. Gave him the week off, and uh, his ear to the ship's cat. Louis took two dice from his jacket pocket. He shook them and rolled them across the table towards Solomon. The dice said eleven. Highest score has first choice, he sneered. Eleven? That's odd. Solomon chuckled, but Louis was in no mood for jokes. Roll the dice, hombre, he said. Solomon held the small, worn dice and rattled them in both his strong, battle-scarred hands. Throwing them, he closed his eyes. The first showed a six. The second one spun on one corner, and then another, and then spun and spun again before landing and revealing... Oh, two sixes! Golly gosh, said Solomon Clegg. His eyes now open wide. Looky old me, I, I select the north. I'll chance my arm with the sea and the pirates. Shake hands, my old compadre, and may the best hombre win. Solomon grinned, pleased at his knowledge of Spanish. Louis smiled too, the sort of smile that said, I know something you don't know, and if you did know what I know, you would not want to know, you know? They parted as friends. Whether they stayed friends for long was another matter. Hope you have got some ideas about how Solomon Clegg and Louis Jimenez were written about there. Send in your answers. Tell us about Solomon Clegg and Louis Jimenez, something I might not have noticed. We'd love to see it and we'll give you a big digital thumbs up. 
So all those ideas we've thought about are going to go into our writing today. But also I'd like to take you through a DD sentence, which is description and detail. And it's a really good way of, of mixing up your writing and making it a bit more interesting. So alongside our 2A sentence we did yesterday, which we're going to recap, we're going to add a DD sentence as well today. Clegg is a jolly sailor. He enjoys singing and dancing with his crew. Louis Jimenez is Spanish. His accent can be difficult to understand, particularly if I'm reading him out. So what the first part of the sentence does, it tells the reader something. And then what we see is a colon, a dot dot on the screen. And then it explains a little bit more about them. So it tells us who the character is. Colon tells us something else about them. Clegg is a jolly sailor. Colon he enjoys singing and dancing with his crew. It tells us he's jolly and then it tells us why he's jolly. Louis Jimenez is Spanish. Colon his accent can be difficult to understand. So your challenge today is to write up your character introductions nice and neat. Use 2A sentences and use DD sentences to make your give your writing a bit of spice. If you want to change your character anytime, of course that's absolutely fine as well. Just based off us reading chapter one, maybe you've taken some ideas. What have they got in their coat? How do they think? What? How do they speak? Do they growl? Do they speak with a growl? Is that how they talk? And don't forget to add in a 2A sentence as well into at least one of your character descriptions. Just like we looked at in lesson two, just pair two adjectives together it just makes it an interesting sentence. After this, we'd like you to share your work with either a friend or a brother or sister or a parent, or you can even send it to us, of course, and you can use this that you can see on the board at the minute. So next to different parts of people's work, maybe you could add a little love heart to say what you liked. You could add a plus sign, a green plus sign to say, tell me more. You're enjoying reading about that, but you feel like you haven't been told enough. Maybe there's something you don't understand, so you could put a little question mark next to them. And that's it for Lit Film Fast. Oh no! I'm sorry, it's it's that time. I've got to go. I've got to go for my walk. Take care. Don't forget to share your work with us online at Lit Film Fest. Info at litfilmfest.com or add it to the Facebook page and I'll give it a big digital thumbs up. Take care everyone. Bye. Bye. Missy bye. Missy bye.